dailyblog.co.nz the top 10 things that we hate about talkback radio well let's have a listen shall we well the fir- first thing we hate about it of course number one is the ads the damn damn ads all right Number two, uh, pet raves by the host. Yeah, so um, uh, anti-Semitism in this case, or some sort of racism, that would probably be number three. Uh, and that's number four is that racism um, and stuff from the uh, callers being reiterated by the hosts. That's that's our number four. Well, I think it was it was fiction, but based on his own experiences. I'm pretty sure, uh, and he's talked widely about that. But uh, yeah, great book. Right, so number five, the you got to have read the book a bit. Where they go on and on and on about a book that obviously no one's going to read. That's number five. Number six, when it all gets personal. And all you're hearing about is people's very personal stories that of course are incredibly boring. Very boring, Molly. Very boring. Uh, number seven, stoner moments. Okay, number eight, it's got to be the repetition of that bloody number all the time. Yeah, number nine, F Wits, uh, who are probably drunk. Yeah, that, that's number nine. And the tenth worst thing about talkback radio is. What is it, David? What is it, David? It's the ads. That's right, it's the ads. Number 10 is always the ads. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Uh, We listen to national radio, isn't it, really? I mean, I listened to Wallace Chapman when he was on uh, Radio Live, but um, now he's on national radio. Much better. Same program, basically, but no ads. It's just moronic ads now. David Slack, perfectly intelligent chap. Uh, runs a good ship, he's very thoughtful, like what he used to say, and um, spoiled by the ads. So that's the top ten things we hate about Talkback Radio.